everyone. So let's start off with a meditation straight away. Yeah. And uh, I think now is a good time to take the meditation in a slightly different direction to do something else. Uh, we've been doing this for a while now, so let's see if we can uh, try some other ways of uh, doing meditation practice. Uh, and uh, today what I'm going to focus on is the uh, uh, death contemplation. Uh, so uh, with the death contemplation, just go very slowly and feel if it feels natural and easy for you. And if you feel that it's anything doesn't feel right, just don't follow along and just do your own thing. Uh, it's not very scary at all. It's actually quite freeing and liberating. But some people find it hard to deal with the idea of death. And if you find it hard to deal with that, uh, then please just do something else so you don't uh, uh, cause yourself any discomfort or any deep problems or anything like that. Uh. But as always, uh, with meditation, you always start out in the same way uh, uh, to establish mindfulness. Uh, so this is always the beginning, regardless of what you do. So just follow the ordinary steps uh, on just letting go of the activity you have just been through uh, and just relaxing, just sitting back and relaxing uh, and allowing things to calm down, allowing mindfulness uh, to arise by itself.
the mind <coughs> is so variable uh, and some days the settling down may be very fast on other days uh, it may take a long time uh, so just be very patient with yourself uh, take whatever time it requires uh, just to allow the mind to find that general level of peace uh, never try to push it uh, never have an idea of how long or how short it should take uh, it will just vary, and just accept that variance. Uh, it all just depends on the conditioning and the state of mind and all of these things. Uh, it is fully out of control. Uh, so just stand back uh, and just be patient. Uh.
as you allow the world and all the activities to fade into the background, uh, there often comes a point when you are just left with a fairly peaceful mind uh, and you can just enjoy the peace inside and also the peace outside. Uh, it's as if they go together. Uh, this feeling of satisfaction and contentment uh, with just being peaceful, uh, that already is quite a delightful state of mind. Uh, always remember to see the delight in all these little things in the meditation practice uh, because that will encourage your further progress and your right attitude in the future. Yeah. <coughs> now, let us try to <coughs> take this meditation in a slightly uh, different direction. Uh, <coughs> okay. 
Okay, so just uh, start off by imagining yourself on your deathbed. Uh, you come to the end of your life, a uh, few hours left to live perhaps, uh, and you are lying on a bed, a very simple bed, uh, just a thin mattress with a white sheet, uh, and you are dressed in maybe some white hospital clothes or something like that, uh, something very plain, very ordinary, uh, and you're lying on your back. Uh, there's a thin pillow to rest your head on, uh, and you are comfortable, but not indulging in any way. Uh, and the room around you is completely plain, uh, there's nothing in the room, uh, the walls are kind of pleasantly off-white, uh, there is no window, uh, there is no artwork, uh, the door is closed, uh, and no one is going to enter that door from now until you are dead. Uh, and you are lying on this bed, uh, waiting to die, you know that you only have at the most a few hours left of your life, uh, this is the end. Uh, what does it feel like? Yeah. And just try to stay with that image in your mind, uh, the idea of lying down and just waiting to die. Uh, you will not be meeting anyone between now and your time of your death. Uh, and just again, try to feel that, make it real. Uh, remember, uh, this will one day happen. Uh, and now you have the chance to feel in advance what it is going to be like, to find out if you are ready. So make it real. This is really the time when you are coming to the end of your life. And uh, just take note very gently uh, of uh, what that feels like uh, and uh, you will come back to that later on, uh, what that tells you about uh, uh, your life, uh, how you feel about this moment. Uh, but for now, just continue uh, lying there uh, and as you are lying, you know that the moment of death is coming closer and closer all the time. Uh, and because of that, it's becoming so clear uh, that you're going to have to abandon the things in your life. Uh, there's nothing now you can really hold on to. Uh, everything is going to have to go. Uh, and the most obvious things that are going to have to go uh, are all the possessions in your life. Uh, everything you own, uh, the most dearest possessions you have uh, from uh, all your, your house and your car or whatever it might be uh, to the very personal possessions like your clothes and everything else uh, everything you own is going to have to go in this life now it is time to give all of that up uh, so give it up uh, and try again to see what it feels like to give up these things uh, 
because you cannot hold on to them. Huh? And uh, as <coughs> the time of your passing away gets closer and closer, uh, you realize it is not only the possessions in your life you have to let go of, uh, you also have to let go of all the people in your life. Uh, now is the time to say in the final goodbye in your heart, uh, you will not meet these people again. Uh, but now is the time to give up any of those holding ons to those people. Uh, just wish them goodbye, uh, and from here you have to fare on on your own. Uh, and again, see what it feels like uh, to give up all those relationships, uh, all those acquaintances uh, that you've had throughout your life. Uh. as the time goes on uh, you become aware that there's even more that you have to give up uh, and uh, one of the big things we have to give up as well is so much of our sense of identity uh, of who we take ourselves to be uh, because so much of that is caught up with this world uh, who we think we are in terms of our education uh, social status uh, gender, uh, uh, whatever it is, all of these things relate to this world uh, and you cannot really take it with you beyond this point. Uh. So give up that identity, that identity that belongs to this world uh, and see what it feels like uh, 
to live without any identity except for the good feelings you have in your heart. Perhaps at this stage you are starting to feel a sense of emptiness inside her. And if you do feel that sense of emptiness, uh, then please notice how delightful and beautiful it is. Uh, if you see that beauty in emptiness, uh, this is very much what meditation is about. Uh, but you can still become more empty here. Uh, because you realize that even your physical body has to go here. Uh, now you are getting very close to the final passing away here. Uh, you can feel it, the end is coming here. Uh, may only be minutes left uh, and your body is going to have to go as well here. Uh, to see if you're able even to let go of your body here uh, and your existence takes on a more mental quality than it has before. Uh, so feel the abandoning of the body itself. Uh.
as you mentally let go of your body in this way, uh, as you don't have any concern for it anymore, uh, there comes a point in this process uh, where you're not really sure whether you are dead or alive anymore. Uh, it's almost as if you are in a kind of in-between state. Uh, and what is strange about it is that you realize uh, it doesn't really matter whether you are dead or alive. Uh, you're just carrying on uh, and you're moving on into this lightness and brightness, uh, this feeling of emptiness that you're carrying with you, uh, leaving everything behind. Uh, see if we can get into that feeling of emptiness uh, that is so pleasant at this stage. Uh. As you experience this sense of emptiness, uh, the feeling of having laid down so many, almost all the burdens of life have been left behind. Uh, and what a wonderful and beautiful thing that is. Uh, and you start to realize that the process of dying uh, is such a beautiful experience, uh, because it is an experience of leaving so much problems and things behind. Uh, and because of that, you start to feel a sense of delight, uh, a sense of gratitude to all your kalyanamitas, uh, all the people who have helped you out on this path. Uh, what a wonderful thing that is. Uh, and the gratitude that comes with dying in a beautiful and peaceful way. Uh. And uh, as you continue on in this process uh, of just letting go, uh, you start to wonder why you were ever afraid of dying. Uh, it is just such a nice and pleasant thing to do. Uh, 
and all it leads to is gratitude for all the good things uh, that you have had in your life, uh, to all the people who have supported you. Uh, and when you have that sense of gratitude, uh, you start to feel the metta for the whole world. Uh, you can even visualize the whole world in your mind's eye, uh, a beautiful planet uh, of green and blue uh, with a golden light around it. Uh, you visualize that and you have a sense of metta for all those beings on that planet uh, because you have gained so much from your experience as a human being uh, and now this is the result of that. Uh, may all those beings on the planet, uh, may you all be well uh, and may you be free of suffering here. Uh. <coughs> now, uh, just please come back to your breath uh, for a few moments uh, and just relax a little bit with your breath before we come to the end. Uh. Once again, uh, ask yourself, how do you feel now? Uh, and if you do feel more relaxed and at ease, uh, now is a very good time to ask yourself the question, why? Uh, because it should be quite clear now what is going on. Uh, so try to look back on the experience if you're feeling better uh, and see what the cause actually is. Uh.
Okay, so that is the end of the meditation for now. Okay, so uh, <coughs> we can discuss more about this meditation maybe at the Q&A session. Uh, so if you have any questions about it, uh, and if not, I will probably bring it up anyway. Uh, uh, but in the meantime, let's have a short break and we'll see you back again about quarter past nine.